given these equations, 2 raised to the power of a minus 2 raised to the power of b equals 1, and 4 raised to the power of a minus 4 raised to the power of b equals 5 over 3, then our goal in this question is to find the numerical value of a minus b. Now, pause the video right now and see if you can answer this question. And if you're done, post your answer in the comment section down below. Now, let's see if you got the correct answer. So, given these two equations, our goal is to find the numerical value of a minus b. Now, here's our solution to this question. First, let's get the second equation, 4 raised to the power of a minus 4 raised to the power of b equals 5 over 3. Now, this 4, we know 4 is 2 raised to the power of 2. So, we can replace this 4 as 2 raised to the power of 2. Also, we have another 4 here. So, we can replace this with 2 raised to the power of 2. And then, this expression, 2 raised to the power of 2 raised to the power of a, we can rewrite this as 2 raised to the power of a raised to the power of 2. Also, this 2 raised to the power of 2 raised to the power of b, we can do the same thing. And now, what we're going to do, since we have a common term of 2 raised to the power of a, we have also 2 raised to the power of b. So let x be equal to 2 raised to the power of a, to make this simple. And let y be equal to 2 raised to the power of b. So this equation right over here becomes x squared minus y squared equals 5 over 3. Now here's the result of the second equation. Now how about the first equation? So if you have 2 raised to the power of a minus 2 raised to the power of b equals 1, so this becomes x minus y equals 1. Now, using these two equations, our goal now is to solve for the value of x and y, and that is very simple because here we have difference of two squares, x squared minus y squared, and we know we can factor this out nicely as x minus y multiplied by x plus y. And also take note, x minus y is equal to 1. So we can replace this with 1. And 1 times x plus y is the same thing as x plus y. So the second equation, we can rewrite this as x plus y equals 5 over 3. The first equation is x minus y equals 1. Now using those two equations, we can now find the value of x and y. Notice, if we add the two equations, we eliminate the variable y. So this is equivalent to 2x equals 1 plus 5 over 3. Now we can replace 1 with 3 over 3. Now we have the same denominator so we can add them. So 1 plus 5 over 3 will give us 8 over 3. Now since we want the value of x, so let's divide both sides by 2. And 8 divided by 2, this will give us 4. So x is 4 over 3. Now we know the value of x and x minus y equals 1. Therefore, y must be 1 over 3 or y equals 1 over 3. Because 4 over 3 minus 1 over 3 will give us 1. Alright, now we know the value of x and y. And don't forget that our goal is not to find x minus y. We want a minus b. Now, let's get these two equations. And since our goal is to find the value of a minus b, what we're going to do is to divide these two equations like this. Because take note that we have the same base and we have different exponent and we have the operation division. So we can simplify the right hand side as 2 raised to the power of a minus b. Now, we have here a minus b. This is what we want to find. And also, we know the value of x and y. So, x is 4 over 3 and y is 1 over 3. And 4 over 3 divided by 1 over 3, this 3 cancel out. So, this is just 4 over 1 or simply equal to 4. Again, 4 is just 2 raised to the power of 2. Now, we have equal expression and we have equal basis. Therefore, we can say that their exponent is equal or equal. Therefore, we have 2 equals a minus b. And that is the value of the expression that we want to find. Therefore, 
given these two equations, the value, the numerical value of a minus b is simply equal to 2. And as always, we are done.